Hello YouTube, Mazaka here. Um, today I'm doing a review of uh, Red Star OS. It's a North Korean based uh, Linux distro. And yeah, today I'm just going to be showing you what it features. Now, when I first thought of North Korea technology, I thought that this would be some operating system which was locked down, had no access to internet, it was monitored and had the picture of Kim Jong in the background. No, no, and once again, no. Um, the operating system is actually pretty, pretty much advanced for um, for a Linux distro in terms of the features that it comes with. Um, so yeah, when you first get the disc, or if you were meant to buy it in North Korea, as I did. Um, no, I won't in North Korea. I have a friend who's a diplomat who sent the disc over to me. Um, when you obtain a copy, what you usually get is a disc which has the operating system, and then another disc for another additional, which would be equal to modern Western money, would be about five dollars. You'd get another disc with a um, with with a lot of programs on it, and it would be called AppSet 2.0. Um, yeah, so first thing I'm going to talk about in this review of the operating system is the, the UI, okay? Okay. So, what you get here, okay. You have on the left. You have a list of folders. You have the local uh, network, the intranet, which uh, is unavailable outside of North Korea because of their internet connection, which is really closed up. Um, but it's called Samba. Uh, you then have settings, which is to do with users, ports, date, accessibilities, uh, screen, sound, and the network connection. What you also down, have down here is the trash. Um, again, some of the folders in the directories, because this is a Unix based, uh, slash Linux based operating system, all of the directories in here. You have the home folder with uh, music. Okay, so you have some sample tunes there. Um, again, most likely some open source sounds. No propaganda or anything. You know, it's just a Linux distro, to be honest. Okay, um, what else do we have? We have the desktop, and we have the computer. Alright, so um, this accepts pretty much any modern hardware. Um, yeah, more on to the programs. Uh, here you have user software. I'm, I'm just going to go over all of the programs and the features. I'm not sure what this is or what this does, and I don't feel like installing it. Yuri Office. Uh, it's a program based on Open Office. Now, because Open Office is open source, and there are no copyright laws in North Korea, or at least there are, but it's outside of um, the company's jurisdiction. Uh, hence, the amount of illegal copies of um, Chinese Windows 98 translated into North Korean. There is no piracy. There is no Microsoft that can point the finger at Kim Jong and go, "You're you've got our product." So yeah. Yuri Office, which is, <clears throat> if I just open it up, um, the operating system accepts standard RPMs. Uh, here you have Open Office Writer, Maths, you've got the Korean Language Pack, Impress, Draw, Calculator Base, um, everything you'd find in a standard Open Office. Um, Okay, I don't know what SG Office is, let me just see. Ah, so it's basically the same thing. Um, 
Okay, Crosswind. This is basically like a Wine app, which lets you run Windows apps. Um, a pretty useful tool, even though there's only like really support for Windows 98 and Windows, maybe a maximum up to Windows 2000. Uh, yeah, look, this is the way it asks you if you want to install. You click on the box, you press yes, and... Done. <clears throat> Image processor is basically a rip off a Photoshop and um, GIMP. Okay, just uh, you've got CD slash DVD rewrite. This is if you want to burn CDs, you can do this. Antivirus, no point really, because it's really unadvanced compared to what modern antiviruses can do, and plus this is Linux, so there'd be no point. Address book, again the same. Jangi, I'm not quite sure what this is, but I believe, I, I believe this is like a game, pr pr most likely chess. Fax 2.0, Mail 2.0, that's pretty self-explanatory. Science Tech Calculator. Uh, it's like open office maths tripwire i'm not sure gtf2 GT, gftp2 is an ftp client for the intranet that north korea has again no use for us westerners and firewall you wouldn't really need this outside of um north korea but yeah this is pyang song um this uh, version 2.0.0.1 and Wasan um, Korea which is another app but yeah here you have a guide on how to use the operating system mouse, keyboard, printer uh, rocket wait is that I swear down that is a rocket Maybe, I don't know, maybe they use this to do nuclear training and tests in North Korea, but, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, guys, pretty much, this was it. Um, if you want to obtain a copy of this operating system, if you want to get a legit disc, uh, PM me, I'll uh, agree on a price. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, comment, rate, and subscribe. I shall see you.